Here we're going to look at the equations of tangents and normals to a hyperbola. There are going to be no surprises, so let's get straight on with it. Find the equation of the normal to the hyperbola. x squared over a squared minus y squared over b squared is 1 at the point where x is a cosh t, y is b shine t, and give the answer in terms of t. Then go on and find the points of intersection of the normal with the coordinate axes. Well, we want the gradient. Our answer wants to be in terms of the parameter t, so the best way of working out the gradient is dy by dt divided by dx by dt. dy by dt differentiating shine, I get cosh, so I have b cosh t divided by differentiating cosh, I get shine, so dx by dt is a shine t. We want the normal. So the gradient of the normal is minus 1 over that, which is minus a shine t divided by b cosh t. And so the equation of the normal is y minus y1, that's y minus b shine t, is m, which is minus a shine t over b cosh t, times x minus x1 is minus a cosh t. Tidying that up, and bringing the x's over, so multiplying by b cosh t, and bringing the x's over to the left-hand side, I get ax shine t, plus b y cosh t I then get b squared shine cosh and on the other side I get a squared shine cosh so this is equal to a squared plus b squared times shine t cosh t So there is the equation of the tangent given in terms of t. It's going to meet the x-axis when y is 0. And therefore x is equal to a squared plus b squared divide by a. And shine t cancels cosh t. And it's going to meet the y-axis when x is naught, and the same sort of thing, y is going to be equal to dividing both sides by b, that's a squared plus b squared over b, and the cosh t's cancel shine t. Nice, simple little problem. The last result I want to do with this is the same way as we did for an ellipse. If we want the condition that y equals mx plus c should be a tangent to the hyperbola, then there is the condition. That's exactly the same procedure as we did when we looked in an ellipse. This then gives us that if we're going to be a tangent to the ellipse, x squared over a squared plus y squared over b squared is 1, then the condition is a squared m squared plus b squared is c squared. For the hyperbola, x squared over a squared minus y squared over b squared is 1, and the condition is a squared m squared minus b squared equals c squared. Those two formulae you are allowed to use in an exam, but they are not in your formula booklet.